There are a number of ways that archaeologists find sites, and to a large extent, the methods they use kind of depends on what type of sites they're looking for. Ultimately, it starts with a question, a research question. It's important to do a lot of background research before you go into the field at all. So that involves looking at past work that's been done on similar sites or in similar areas. Also looking at historical documentation that may refer to uh, different activities that were occurring in that area at different times in the past. And once we have an idea of what it is we're looking for you know, intellectually, um, we can find a site that will help us answer that question. One of the main methods within archaeology in general is called shovel test pit survey. And to do that, you dig a little hole on a grid every 25 or 50 feet uh, and look for different artifacts. And then you can plot them on a map and see where concentrations are. So where concentrations of artifacts are high, you probably have an archaeology site. You know, if, if I can go in and only dig you know, 20 or 30 small holes in an area I'm pretty sure is going to have what I'm looking for, um, I'd rather do that. You can also use a metal detector survey. Uh, it's a technology that's been around for a while, but it's starting to be used a lot more in archaeology. The work I do is involved heavily with um, historic maps, um, spatial analysis. We're able to do things like take historic maps, historic photographs, uh, and overlay them with contemporary data sets, you know, like uh, elevation, slope, all those other things. In addition to that, you have uh, different sorts of satellite data that can be used to find large sites. That's commonly used in Central America looking for Mayan or Aztec temples or in Egypt looking for other pyramids that we haven't found yet. You know, archaeologists are very practical people. So rather than digging holes everywhere, we'll just target what we're doing.